Preposition, a word or set of words that indicate location. Huh? For example, in, beneath, behind, or some other relationship between words in the sentence. Now, we're going to give emphasis to the usage of the prepositions in, on, and at in terms of place and time, knowing that lots of people get confused on when they are going to use these prepositions in constructing a sentence. Now, we're going to focus on the usage of prepositions in, on, and at for time. For example, if we say in May or on Friday or at night, we are thinking about time. Let's get started with in. We use in for longer periods. Number one, in October. We can use in for months, in October, in November, in December, and so on. Number two, shows that we can use in for years. In 2016, in 1996, in 2006. Number three, in this picture represents a particular decade and the example here is in the 60s. We could also say in the 70s or in the 80s or in whatever decade. Number four, this picture represents a particular century. In the 18th century, we can also say in the 19th century, in the 20th century, and so on. Number five, this picture represents a particular season. In summer, we could also have in winter, in autumn, or in spring. As I said before, we normally use in for longer periods like months, years, decades, centuries, and seasons. But there are two more examples I want to show you which are not for longer periods. And that's for number six, in for a time in the future. The example is, I'll do it in 10 minutes. And what it means is, I'll do it in 10 minutes from now. And finally, number seven is in for a time needed. I'll do it in 10 minutes, except here, it means something completely different. Here, it means I need or it will take me 10 minutes to do the job or the task. So that's in. Let's go now to on. And we used on for days and dates. Number one, on Monday. Shows us that we can use on for days of the week. We could also say on Tuesday or on Wednesday or on whatever day. Number two is dates in the year, on the 21st of June. Although speakers of American English would probably say June 21st without the preposition of. So that's on, days and date. Let's go finally to at. We use at for particular times. Number one, at 8 o'clock. Shows us that we can use at for times of day. We could also say at 8.30 or at 9.45 or whatever time. Number two is at midday or at midnight. Again, times of day. Number three, we can use at for meal times. At lunch, at breakfast, or at dinner. Number four is at sunrise or at sunset. Number five is at night. And finally, number six, at for religious festivals. The picture of example here is at Christmas. And that's at. Always remember that at used for particular times like times of day, midday or midnight, at meal times, at sunrise or sunset, at night, and at religious festivals. We are now done with the prepositions in on and at in regards with time. Let us discuss now the usage of the prepositions in, on, and at in regards with place. Let's start with the preposition in. Here, 
in is used to indicate an enclosed space or place. Examples of it are in the garden, in London, in a box, in a building, and in my pocket. Let's use some of these examples in sentences. Number one, the children are playing in the garden, meaning the children are playing inside the garden. Number two, Sherlock Holmes lives in London. It means that Sherlock is living inside the area or inside the vicinity of London. Number three, my wallet is in my pocket. We used in because a pocket is an enclosed space. So in the sentence, my wallet is in my pocket, the wallet is inside the pocket. Is it clear with you now the usage of the preposition in with place? Again, in is used to indicate an enclosed space or place. Now, let us move on with the usage of the preposition on. So, in regards with place, on is used to indicate something that is on a surface. Examples of it are on the wall, on the table, on the bulletin, on page 7, and on the shelf. Here are examples of sentences using the preposition on. Number 1. The painting is hanged on the wall. The painting is hanged on the surface of the wall. Number 2. My cell phone is on the table. So when we're referring to a surface, always use on and not in. Number three, post the announcement on the bulletin. It is on the bulletin and not in the bulletin. Do you already know when to use the preposition on in line with place now? Again, on is used to indicate something on a surface. Let's proceed with the usage of the preposition at in line with place. Here, at is used to indicate a particular point of a place or of an area. Examples of it are at the corner, at the bus stop, at the door, at the top of the page, and at the entrance. Let's use some of these in sentences. Number one. Meet me at the corner of the street. Here, the corner of the street is a particular point, so we use the preposition at. Number two, the mat is placed at the door. The mat is placed in a particular point of the house, which is at the door. And number three, the title of the poem is seen at the top of the page. The top of the page is a particular area or point of the page, so we use the preposition at. Is it now clear with you the usage of the preposition at with place? Again, at is used to indicate a particular point of a place or of an area. So we're done discussing now the usage of the prepositions in, on, and at in regards with time and place. Let us now test how far you've learned throughout our discussion. Here is the instruction. Fill in the blanks the preposition that suits each sentence. Choose among prepositions in, on, and at. You have 5 seconds to answer each sentence. Good luck! Number 1 My friend works blank New York. Number 2 Take your medicine blank 9 o'clock. Number three, I saw her dancing blank the dance floor. Number four, the program will start blank five minutes. Number five, meet me blank the bus stop. Number six, his birthday is blank January 25. Number seven, she kept the ring blank a box. Number eight. We always pray blank night. Number nine. They accomplished their thesis blank six weeks. And number ten. Let's attend the church blank Sunday. 
Okay, time's up. Let's see how many correct answers do you got. So here are the answers. Hope you learned with our discussion about the prepositions in, on, and at in regards with time and place. So we have been your teachers for today. I'm Teacher Raj. And I'm Teacher Bea. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.